friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the last episode we learned about the basic web scrapping that is required in terms of extracting data we learned about how to generate a pdf and saw about how to generate a screenshot today we'll talk about customizing options for launching the browser very important when you especially when you are trying to deploy to higher environments or in a pipeline you will need to customize these options and hence it's very very important even for a beginner or an experienced person to know about these options and how to customize them we'll learn all about it in today's episode this is part 4 of the series if you have missed out on the previous 3 episodes i'll request you to kindly go over them so that you have continuity in your learning that being said this is the playlist that you are looking at right now i'll cover 25 episodes in puppeteer with including some of the advanced live uh, coding as well all right so what are the different options that are available uh, with respect to puppeteer so when we launch uh, when we call the puppeteer dot dot launch method it takes different attributes that are listed on the screen these are important the first one being executable path this is the path of the browser especially uh, this is important because in local it will work but when you are trying to promote it to a environment or a aws or a azure you need to provide the path of the browser headless now this is an option if you set true it will run in the background this is uh, specially true when you are trying to run it in a pipeline slow mo again this is like how much to delay by milliseconds right by default it's 100 but you can customize that and change that now default viewport let's say you are testing it for a uh, responsiveness or some desktop so you can specify that width and height that it, your application will be tested against there are different arguments that it can takes like no sandbox etc which are specially used from the command line interface you can also uh, pass arguments for disabling extensions etc the next very important is ignore http errors now if you are behind a firewall in your enterprise uh, you might want to have it um, false because you may get ssl errors etc now handle sign in which is nothing but control c right when the browser when you hit control c from the keyboard how should it handle similarly sick term is nothing but uh, when you close the browser after receiving the signal yes or no Uh, time out like how much to time out how much to wait before you process the next environment you can also set variables like environment and dev tools right so these are different options that are available with puppeteer launch i'm going to show you some and show you the variations of it let's get started all right so this is the uh, episode 3 code we wrote and we passed headless false now you know what it means if you make it true that means now when you run it you will not see the browser come up so let's see the okay puppet here and now i'm going to say node episode 3 dot js so since the headlets is true it will automatically run in the browser and then exit the see now ex it exited the program once it's completed okay if you make it false you can see it that the chromium comes up in visual mode you can see the browser opening you can see what is happening visually that it's going to yahoo.com then it's checking for elements so now once it is program is completed it will close it okay so similarly we can also pass different options so let me again you might think that you may not need these but trust me when you want to work with um different uh, use cases right uh, like say for example when you are running in um, enterprise mode you have um, you need to specify these otherwise it will not work right so that is one so you can specify default width i'm going to say 980 pixel and then followed by the height of it so you can say height um, say 600 pixel right now these are the values uh, you don't have to give pixel sorry okay so now this is the default viewport that i have set now when i run it it will take that resolution while testing 
so see now it increased the width earlier it was small now it has increased right so you can put it 14 40 that's another suggested side so let's see so basically you can give any width and height that you are considering your application see now it's wide earlier there was coming now it's too wide so that's how you can change the width and height using the default viewport the next one that I'm going to show you um, is dev tools now this is uh, interesting uh, you want to sometimes see the dev tools open do some operation clear cache clear cookies or interceptor etc so you can add the dev tools also by default it's uh, false you can make it true so now you see that you can see the execution you can see how many console errors etc they are coming up so this is another mode that you can open the dev tools the next one is you can specify the environment or say slow-mo right how many milliseconds you want it to delay say thousand you can put environment and say which environment you are working on right so say dev right so you can pass different options like this to customize the whole list I have shared with you each one you should know you may not use it right away but you will use it when you run it right so right now it's opening how it will do its processing and finally close that it's still running in the background maybe generating few things okay all right so so this this is the complete list of um, the options that are available keep this list handy whenever you work with pipelines or whenever you're working on deploying the puppeteer into any other environment you will need these options uh, executable path headless slow mode default viewport arguments ignore default args um, http errors uh, handle sig term uh, especially if you're running into ssl errors you can write ignore http errors and it will ignore it so these are all the different options keep it handy and uh, implement them as and when you need them in the next episode uh, we will talk about navigating and extracting some information from web pages from now on the complexity will increase we'll extract one or two earlier we had extracted title and some basic heading but now in the next episode onwards we'll go advanced and try to uh, scrap the entire uh, website and that that will give you a lot of confidence i'll keep it short in this episode thank you so much for joining I'll see you in the next episode. We'll continue learning Puppeteer. Thank you.